Welcome to the workshop. Last time we were rough shaping the shoulder joint and the rear legs. This time we're finishing off the shaping of the legs and smoothing of the leg to seat joints. Shaping of the rear leg proceeds much the same as the front ones. We're looking for a round or oval appearance throughout most of the length. We're working in the vice at the moment with the leg off the chair so we need to leave the areas just around the joints so that when we assemble the chair we can make sure the curves flow nicely into one another. Holding the leg can be a challenge. Here I'm using a hole for a hold fast in the top of the bench and pressing against the top of the leg with my stomach. And here I'm using a hole in the stretch of the bench's sub-assembly. You just have to be creative. On this occasion, I've got one end of the leg in the vise, but because it's an awkward shape, I can't clamp it that well, so I hold the other end in my hand. And that works just fine. On this occasion I've used a router mat wrapped around the base of the leg and clamped that in the vise. It works quite well but as you can see it did move a little bit. With the majority of the legs shaped we can now go ahead and start working on making the joints nice and flush. I mark around the intersection of the seat with the leg and that gives me a line to which I can run the curve to. Then we can remove the majority of that material at the bench and just finish off when the legs are attached permanently. I find these microplanes work wonderfully for this job but you can do just as good a job with a rasp but it just takes you a little bit longer. Pretty soon we're almost flush and the final work can be done with some sandpaper. With the legs fitted we can then work out exactly how we're going to finish the transition between the side of the seat and the leg and obviously there's a fair amount of material to remove here and whether we just blend that in as a curve or remove it completely and blend the leg in with a slight cove down the corner there that's up to I you. decide to blend with a cove down the corner and break out my carving tools to get me there The transition for the rear legs is a lot easier.
join me next time as I attach the arms and shape the shoulders. <laughs>